I still remember the first time me and Alicia met. Let me tell you, it wasn't on the best of circumstances. Then again, is anything on the frontier? I'd just woken up from what felt like a lovely nap. Turns out, I was now in a tree, covered in netting, and sat in an ejection seat. The most annoying part is, I still don't know how I got there. I remember growls, prowler sounds around me howling, not the kind of thing you want to hear while trapped in a now low-hanging tree. After a while of struggling to get the damn seatbelt off, I heard a crackle through the radio on my chest. Hey, I'm gonna make this quick as I'm sure you've already heard our dear old friends around here. I can get you down. You're not gonna like how, but I can. I quickly grabbed the radio from my chest pocket and held it to my face. You mind telling me who you are first? I didn't get a reply, but saw a movement ahead of me. I managed to make out a large mechanical silhouette in the hills in front of me. I thought to myself, Oh god, a titan? I can already hear the quiet. I was hastily cut short by a tremendous force against my stomach. It felt like I was hit with a sledgehammer, but my belt quickly unbuckled, and I fell downwards onto the floor. After catching my breath and swearing a bit, I looked up to see the silhouette was no longer there. There was no trace of her ever being there. My thinking was cut short by another howl from the quickly approaching prowlers. As I turned to the source of the noise, a gun landed at my feet. I scooped it up and checked the magazine. To my surprise, inside I found a full magazine of hollow point rounds. My aim turned behind me as a blue and red prowler emerged from the bushes, snarling its teeth at me. It still gets me how sharp those damn things are. Without hesitation, I put a round right between its eyes, but it seems he had no intention of going down without causing some issues. He jumped at me before I fired, launching his corpse at me and knocking the gun from my hand. The prowler was damn heavy, but eventually I got it off. Of course the frontier isn't very compassionate, and another prowler quickly launched itself at me and pinned me to the floor. I've grown up in a rather nasty area, and prowlers aren't rare where I'm from, so naturally I know these buggers are pretty sensitive snouts, so I pulled back my fist and drove it straight into the damn thing's face. It recoiled back and fell to the ground. Knowing I probably wouldn't get another chance like this, I dove for the gun and unloaded the rest of it into the prowler. Their body came crashing to the ground and kicked up some dirt. As I got back up, a bulky prowler came into my view. He was standing on the top of some fallen rocks. The dude looked like a champ, covered in scars, one eye slashed, and muscles that could rival a reaper. I grinned and analysed the prowler. He was definitely their alpha. Alright big guy, let's see what you can do. The prowler leaps down and leaves heavy prints on the ground, kicking up more dust and dirt than the dead prowler did. He tenses his muscles and snarls his teeth at me. His are way sharper than his friends, and blood stained. Show me what you got. The prowler roars and leaps at me. Once again I know what to do, and instinctively fall onto my back, and dart my legs outward into the prowler's chest, throwing him over me. I get back on my knees once more, ready to kill the thing, but it lifts its tail up in a circle motion and shoots a strange hook barb at me, hitting me in the upper arm. Well that's new, eh? Hey? The prowler leaps at me one more time, going in for the kill, but is suddenly flattened by a large object. I looked up and saw that now familiar glow. There she was, 
Alicia. After that, we went to Angel City, fought some weird titans, bought a base, took some contracts, and here we are now, two years later. Now leave me to my drinks. I've got a harvester to defend in 20 minutes. <laughs>